Hey everybody, Austin Siragusa for Moose TV here. Now as you may have heard by now, newly acquired Winnipeg Jets center Pierre-Luc Dubois is the son of Moose assistant coach Eric Dubois. And with Pierre-Luc still finishing up his quarantine, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to bring the two together and learn more about their relationship. Enjoy. Pierre, I guess I'll ask the first question to you. Being a kid with a dad who is, you know, a pro hockey player and a coach for so much of his life, what was it like sort of for you as a kid being able to grow up around the game like that? Yeah, I think it was great. Um, you know, I got to learn a lot. Uh, you know, he always told me that, you know, hockey is about, um, you know, obviously winning, but it's it's about the details in the game that makes you win. Um, it's not necessarily just goals or assists. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, back checking or forward checking or, you know, the, the areas that aren't as exciting. But at the end of the day, we all play hockey to win. Um, and that's what makes a difference. And Eric, what was that experience like for you just to be able to share some of those memories and share some of your teachings with your son at such a young age too. Well, it's fun to, to share a passion with your, uh, with your kids, you know, so for me to be able to, to share the passion of hockey with, uh, with him and having him uh, around, you know, I, I remember, I don't know if you still remember in, in Germany, I was still playing and if we win, he, you know, he'd be the first one in the dressing room. I think he'd be before the coaches in the dressing room at times, you know, so, you know, to have him around and the players, you know, uh, uh, we're used to see him around as well, you know, in the dressing room and he was probably three or four years old. So, you know, uh, so, uh, yeah, I do have a lot of uh, good memory, uh, you know, spending a lot of time with him, and, but also sharing that passion. And what was he like as a, as a younger kid, too? Was he always passionate about the game at a young age as well? Just take us sort of behind the curtain there, what he was like as a young kid. Yeah, he was. Uh, and... Uh, you know, at home he'd play hockey in the living room. You know, and uh, I try to convert him to be a right-handed shooter. And uh, I tried twice, I believe, and uh, both time I turned around, he was lefty. I was okay. No, it's better if you're righty. And I turn around again, he'd be lefty. So, so I'm, I assumed that he was lefty. But uh, you know, uh, as long as I could remember playing sports, hockey. But in the summer, we throw ball forever. In the, in the backyard, uh, so whether it was a baseball or a football, you know, and uh, it was always about uh, being very active, and he uh, he had a lot of uh, time to play uh, every game. So, but obviously, the the game of hockey was always uh, special around the house. Pierre Luke, do you like to think you were a, a well-behaved son around the house for for your dad, or or what? Uh, most times, I think. Uh, I have an older sister, so I think everybody knows a uh, relation two years older than me. So um, now we're, we're best friends. But back then, it was more of a, a love-hate relationship at times. So um, I think most times I was, I was well-behaved. But um, I mean, there's definitely, definitely, if you, if you took hockey away from me, uh, you had me and, and uh, you had me, you know, really concentrating and trying to be as, as nice as possible. So um, you know, I, I tried. <laughs> well, when you were a younger kid, how valuable was that to you for your development and just overall learning the game to have Eric as your father? Was it was it easy just to sort of talk about the games after and sort of break down things you could do better? Yeah, yeah, it was it was really easy. And, um, you know, what, like I said earlier, it kind of always goes back to the same thing. Um, you know, I could have three goals and then two assists as a kid, um, you know, and but I – I didn't really play that well. I mean, you know, statistically speaking, it's a good game, but, but I didn't play, you know, there's a lot, I either didn't work hard or didn't back check or, you know, um, turn the puck over a lot. And, and, it, you know, it would be, it would be, yeah, you played well, but you know, you can be, you can be even better. And then some games I'd have zero points and you tell me, you know, it was your best game this year. Um, so I think it was always, it was always about how you play and not necessarily, you know, just the points and assist um, just, you know, more about, playing well and helping your team win. Eric, was it sort of tough being a dad and a coach at the same time? Because you have all this experience around the pro game. Is it sort of hard to just sort of blend that line, I guess, from being a dad and a coach when your son was playing? Yeah, for sure. There's a fine line between being a coach and a dad. And uh, I, was, uh, I was always focusing about being the dad first, you know, and uh, I didn't want to be the and the guy that would tell him how to play and how to have fun and, whatever, you know, whatever. So I wanted him to you know, to enjoy the game as much as he could. And if he had questions for me, then, you know, coaches could always get involved. But, but uh, you know, I try really hard to focus on being a dad first. Uh, let him enjoy the game, you know. I didn't want to take it away to, 
that fun uh, part of the of the game. So uh, it was. Uh, I, I thought it went well. You know, uh, I think it still goes well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want to cross that line. You know, so I, I noticed I, the first year I got on the ice with him. I don't know if you remember, but. Uh, it was his first year playing hockey and uh, they asked me to go on the ice with them and so I did and uh, I noticed right away that he, he didn't enjoy it he was trying to be perfect uh, on the ice and I was oh wow that's, uh, let's not do this again so that was my first time and it, it took a while before I got back on the ice with him uh, uh, right from the get-go I noticed that uh, I needed to get away from him you know <laughs> right. PL, and then there's this other question we've been asking uh, around the office as well. And I know fans have been talking about it too, but if it's a one-on-one -on -one situation, your dad's the D-man, you're the forward. Who's coming out on top in that situation, PL? Um, well, I mean, I I've seen one clip of my dad. Uh, well, I've seen probably more, but one clip of my dad where he, uh, he kills a guy in the middle of the ice when he played in Atlanta. Um, so he was, he looked physical, but he didn't look like um, the best skater out there, so I think I, I think I'd probably win that one-on-one -on -one battle. Eric, do you uh, concur with that one? Yeah, yeah, and I'm getting slower, so I don't like my chance. <laughs> Pierre Luc, final question for you. But what are you looking forward to the most about living in the same city as your father? I mean, I know you guys probably spend some time together, you know, in a regular off season, but to, to be in the same city as him now, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, last time I was living with, or you know, in the same city as them, I was I was 14 years old. So, um, you know, it's it's gonna be fun. And uh, you know, my mom, my for my mom too. I mean, she she still thinks I, I ate the same snacks and the same food I ate when I was 14, 13. So, um, you know, it's gonna be fun to to spend more time with them. It's gonna be fun to, you know, for for them to see to see my games more often. Um, obviously, my mom can can come to pretty much every game. Uh, then my dad's schedule, their their schedule is different. Um, so he can't always come, but it'll be, de it'll de definitely, it'll be fun, um, to be able to have him there and talk to him and see him in person as, you know, instead of seeing him on FaceTime and, and stuff like that. Eric, same question goes to you. Well, yeah, he's exactly right. I don't think I, uh, even when he was, I mean, midget Tripoli, even in Bantam, if you look, I don't think I had a chance to see him a lot. And, and now being in the same city, I might, uh, I might see him more than ever, you know, uh, being in the same city, depending on our, our schedule. So I think it'll be fun for me, you know, to have a chance to see him uh, live a lot more than I probably ever did. So uh, uh, that'll be fun. It'll be fun to see my wife also enjoy uh, going to the game as well. So uh, yeah, it's a totally different experience uh, for sure that we're going to have a chance to live. Pierre, Luke, and Eric, thanks so much for the time and all the best in this year. Thank you. Thank you.